What do you think about this Vietnam thing? What, what I'd like to hear you talk a little bit. Well, frankly, Mr. President, if you were to tell me that I was authorized to settle it as I saw fit, I would uh, respectfully decline to undertake it. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a damn worst mess I ever saw, and uh, I, I, I don't like to brag. I never have been right many times in my life, but I knew we were going to get in this sort of mess when we went in there, and I don't see how we're going to ever get out without fighting a major war with the Chinese and all of them down there in those uh, rice paddies and jungles. I just don't see it. It's, uh, I, I just don't know what to do. Well, that's the way I've been feeling for it's, it's six months. I'll, sit, I'll, I'll position it to deer rating. And uh, it looks like the more we try to do for them, the less they're willing to do for themselves. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hell of a, hell of a situation. It's, it's a mess, and it's going to get worse. I don't know. I don't know how what to do. If um, I don't think the American people will are quite ready to send out troops in there to do the fighting, and. Uh, if it came down to an option of just sending Americans in there to uh, do the Biden, which will, of course, eventually aid into a, a ground war and a conventional war with China, and uh, we do them a favor every time we kill the coolie, whereas in one of our people got killed, it'd be a loss to us. If it got down to that, I'd just pull it out, I'd, uh, I'd get out. But, I, but then I don't know. There's undoubtedly some middle ground somewhere. Right? If I was going to get out, I'd get the same try to get rid of old Dean to get rid of these people and get some fellow in there that said he wished to hell we would get out. That'd give us a good excuse for getting out. I, I just, it, 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 uh, it, I see no terminal date or uh, for any part of that in there. How important is it to us? It isn't important a damn bit. I just don't know. It's it's it's, it's a tragic situation. It's just, it, it's just one of those places where you can't win. Anything you do is wrong. Well, it impeached President though that run out, wouldn't it? I well, just don't I believe don't every it it, outside of Morris, everybody I talked to says you got to go in, including Hickenlooper, including all the Republicans. None of them disagreed with him yesterday when he made the statement that we had to stand. And I don't know how in the hell you're going to get out unless they tell you to get out. Wouldn't that pretty well fix us in the eyes of the world, though? Would it make it look mighty bad? Well, I don't know. We don't, we don't look too good right now. And uh, of course, you'd look pretty good, I guess, going in there with all the troops and sending them all in there. But uh, I tell you, it'll, it'll be the most expensive venture this country ever went into. What I've got a little old sergeant who works for me over at the house. And he got six children. And I just put him up as a United States Army and Air Force and Navy every time I think about making this decision and think about sending that father of those six kids in there. And uh, what the hell are we going to get out of his daughter? And it, it just uh, makes the chills run up my it back. It does me. I just, I just can't haven't, see it. I haven't got the nerve to do it, and uh, I don't see any other way out of it. I don't have much sense to do it. 